Today we are blossoming with a fun DIY. Hello starlets, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. I make videos to inspire you to be the best version of yourself and live your dreams. So if you wanna be an Everyday Starlet, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I have a super fun DIY. I've been wanting to do this for a while. It is inspired by a famous costume that Elizabeth Taylor wore in one of her iconic films. It actually was in its day in the 1950s the most copied dress, I believe, for the prom the year the movie came out. So I actually thought it would be kind of fun to make a bra DIY that was similar to the dress because the dress was kind of like a corset style bustier type top. So yeah, this DIY actually, it took a little bit longer than I expected it to take, but it's actually pretty simple. So I'm pretty sure just about anyone could do it. So if you guys wanna see uh, the finished look, then be sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. But if you guys wanna know how I got this floral Elizabeth Taylor inspired bra DIY project, then just keep watching. Okay, so for this project, you need a plain bra, preferably one that has a cup, so you have sort of a form that you can work with. Some glue, or you can sew these on if you want. I'm gonna glue because I feel like it's gonna go quicker, but if you are very good at sewing, by all means, you can sew these on. You need some daisies. I found these on Amazon, and these are all, they're like crocheted daisies. You can get them in a lot of different colors. Um, I kinda liked the pink, because I'm partial to pink, but you know whatever you wanna do, and some scissors. I've mentioned some of my other DIYs. I kinda of just have this like Amazon package and some paper towels just down to like, it's not pretty, but it's just sort of protect. I mean, this is a cheap rug I got on Amazon, so I don't think it really really matters like, you know, if anything happens to it. It's not valuable, but just to kind of protect your surface, I like to keep something underneath here. Now, you can actually trim these um, they don't seem to come unraveled when I ordered them. They said that you could um, just trim them and put them on individually. Um, I feel like that would take longer, so I'm gonna actually try to put them on in strips. So I already pre-measured this first one here to and trimmed it to fit the top of the bra here. So I think it might be easier for me to start putting the glue on the bra. So I think that's what I'm gonna start with. I actually think this alone could be kind of cute, but I'm gonna keep going and try the whole thing. I actually find when doing these DIYs, it's actually a good idea to do like one cup and the other as opposed to like going through and finishing one and then starting from the other. I just feel like you get a little bit more even if you kind of do one side and then the other side. Just my opinion though, you can do it any way you want. That actually kind of looks cute by itself. You could stop there if you want to, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna try to put these down so that like, you see the daisies are going in between, so they're kind of like layered like that. This glue doesn't dry super quickly, so you have a little bit of time to kind of play around and get it in the right spot. Another thing I like to do to make sure that it's more even is when I measure one side for one row, I like to trim it the exact same side on the other side. If you give yourself the exact same amount as opposed to like going and measuring again, it's not guaranteed you're gonna get it the same length on both sides. So this way you at least have some consistency. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, because honestly, I mean, especially if you're just wearing this for somebody, you know, in a romantic setting, if they're that critical, you don't need to be in a romantic setting with them. They should just appreciate that they're seeing you in a bra.
and voila. Now I'm just gonna let this dry thoroughly overnight and then I'm gonna try this puppy on. And here is the look right here. This is actually the finished product. It's all dry, still smells like glue, so just a warning. If you do wear this for someone special, I'd wear some pretty strong perfume to cover up the glue smell. You could sew these on if you are inclined. I do know the basics of sewing, but I don't really have the patience for it. And I also wanted this DIY to be something easy enough that anyone could do, even if you are not into sewing. Now, the Elizabeth Taylor film that I took inspiration for this DIY from. I was actually in black and white and I believe I found what I think are some color photos of the actual dress and it was more of like a cream color and I did actually find these daisies in, you know, more of the traditional daisy with the yellow center. I, I don't know, I feel like the petals were a little bit more ivory and I wanted to use it on a white bra so I just found that the pink matched and I really wanted to pair it with this pretty pink corset. This was actually gifted to me by Orchard Corset. It has really nothing to do with the DIY. I just thought that this would be kind of a cute look together. Nobody is sponsoring this video. They just gifted this to me. So I wanted to give them a shout out because it is so pretty. It's so pretty. These bottoms are actually Savage by Fenty because their microfiber bottoms just go with everything. So. I tend to pair them with all my looks. This bra may not necessarily be practical to wear under something, but I think it could be kind of cute. Maybe like peeking out of some kind of a top. Um, maybe if it's like a v-neck and you have like the little flowers peeking through. I don't know, I think it could be kind of a cute look. Yeah, and I mean, if you cover the whole thing, I actually think you probably could get away with wearing this as like a top, not like necessarily for every day, um, but for like, you know, clubbing or something like that. Obviously for the smaller girls, if you are smaller busted, it will take a lot less flowers and it will go a lot quicker, but I am a very full busted lady. And <laughs> so I want to do these DIYs because I feel like the small chested girls shouldn't have all the fun. Us fuller busted girls should have some like really fun, decorative kind of crazy bras that we can I don't know, have fun in <laughs> whatever you decide to do in them. But yeah, I really love the way that this came out. I really love this look. It's super fun for like spring, summer, and I don't know, I like it. If you guys tried this DIY, let me know. If you post it on social media, tag me in it. I wanna know, I wanna see it. If you guys have any other DIYs you wanna see, like maybe there's a some kind of a cool bra or a cool look or something that you're like, oh, I wish they made a bra that looked like that or was decorated like that in my size, let me know because I would love to hear from you. I love your suggestions. So just leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. And it actually really helps me out because actually uh, YouTube doesn't like when I make these bra videos. Um, I'm basically can't monetize them, but I really want to do them because I just feel like uh, being glamorous and having fun and, and doing fun things like this should not just be for, you know, one size woman. I think, you know, glamour and feeling special and feeling pretty should be for anyone of any size and any shape. So that's why I do them. I do them for you. So uh, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up, a comment, share this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, you can follow me on all my social media channels, especially Instagram. I'm very active on Instagram, so be sure you follow me there. And I will link all of this stuff that I can find online in the description box below. So be sure you check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time.